20 to 5 we are on the bus to Kathmandu uh, sleeping so we have like 20 minutes to heal we're gonna leave at 5 and uh, it's gonna be a very long day I don't wanna even talk about I can't even speak right now In this third episode, I will explain you how we travel to Nepal with a fairly low budget. Are you ready for all of this? Let's go! Waking up in the middle of the night. Catching buses to places where we don't know the exact location. Negotiate the price of the route. Spending hours in a very uncomfortable bus with a very bumpy road. Endless hours waiting for the next bus. Hacked buses and us breaking seats. All this and much more in this tour through Nepal. 4.30 in the morning, we heading to Chituan. 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 We're gonna catch a few buses. Uh, I don't know if you can see. It looks like a... Which project? Uh. And uh, we head into Chituan, we are in the main station. Uh, we're gonna leave at 7, which is gonna be in half an hour. And the journey will be 5 uh, hour approximately. And uh, yeah, I'm really tired. We got up like 4 and uh, is it easy? Anyway, see you when we get there. It's super cool. We have to go on our jumper. Seba is wearing a poncho. It's covered by plastic. And uh, pretty much the same for me. It's still really early in the morning. We, I don't know if we, I think we're going down the mountain. And the uh, street super bumpy. Hell, we just got to bus station. Uh, I don't remember the name anyway, it's the one that I mentioned before. And uh, now we need to catch another bus to get to the final destination. Uh, maybe it takes another hour. Uh, we don't know much about it, so let's see what happens. We are arrived at the Eco Village after how many hours, Seba? Five hours, six hours, seven, seven hours. Seven hours. It's raining. Every time we drop off the bus, it's raining. Isn't raining when you are in? After ten hours, three buses and one tuk tuk, we finally got to our destination with 950 Nepalese rupees. Traveling with public transport isn't easy, but you always have something to tell to your friends. Good morning, good morning from the Eco Park in uh, Chituan. We had a rough night, it was raining, mice running on the roof, so it was a little bit noisy and uh, the weather is still uh, not good, so it was everything wet. Uh, we had a rough day. We got this morning, we had the breakfast and the tea, and now we are heading to do some work, some painting. So our morning it will be pretty much done like this and then we're gonna have a break, uh, we're gonna have some food and then we're gonna probably be back and work uh, with uh, some other painting and then we're gonna go to the city, we will see, we've got a lot of things to do and uh, this is what we have now. We are just right in the middle of nowhere inside the Chituan Park. It's nice, but it's tough.
After the second day, the situation suddenly changed. We got bored. We had rats running around our rooms and it was raining non-stop for three days in a row. A crazy neighbor in the middle of the night was playing loud techno music. There was no point to stay here any longer. Our volunteer in the Chito region is over. We had a crazy time in this place. We just left the shiny Echo project. We head into the main town to catch another couple of bus to get to Lumbini. We are on a bus from Chituan to Lumbini. It be one of the top 10 short trips uh, ever. Uh, estimate time uh, it should be from 7 to 9 hours. <laughs> the, the street is really bumpy and is off-road. The music is nice anyway. Apparently we ran out of diesel and uh, we have to wait, I don't know who is gonna come with diesel uh, we are in just about probably a couple of hours from our destination but yeah, you never know when you arrive, never know now we stop in the middle of nowhere muddy and uh, wet what we can do, nothing, just wait Okay, we change bus, uh, we have another hour to go, it's packed, uh, the other bus it had some engine problems. Transfer from Chituan to Lumbini, it's about 89 hours, cost of the journey it's a thousand Nepalese rupees. Four buses and one change due to the breakdown of the engine. We settled down in Siddhartha Nagar, which is 26 kilometers away from Lumbini. Here there is no much to do and the weather is unbearable. In the other end, Lumbini is a complex of temple and pagoda from all over the world and also the birthplace of Buddha. Well guys, Lumbini is definitely worth it to visit. Along this canal on both sides there are many temples and stupas. It's a free tour to understand how different countries approach the Buddhism. Guys, this could be the hottest day in my life. However, we have done with Lumbini. Now it's time to get close to the Anapurna. On the road again toward Okara. 22nd of September we get on the office of Kashmir Dozer and uh, we are heading to Pokhara from this place which is near Bayra Bayra, but like Dumbi it's gonna be like uh, seven, 9 hours something but we are here for this Kokimoku! Kola! Kwa! We got to Pokhara after 9 hours 9, 7, 8, something like that Good morning, good morning from Pokhara uh, We will be based here for about 10 days before getting ready for the Annapurna Circuit Soon we will be beyond those beasts up there But let's check it up what's going on in this town Pokhara is the second biggest city in Nepal, perfect place for sun trekking. Let's pay a visit at the small island in the middle of Lake Ewa. Excuse me? Yes, stay on this side. Yeah. Right. Okay, center on. Okay. 
Okay, we have done the most touristic things in Pokhara, which is visiting the small island right in the middle of the lake uh, Pewa. Quite touristic. Good morning, we are going to visit uh, Shiva and the stupa in Pokhara. It's uh, 7 8 kilometers, Seba. 7 kilometers. Hiking, getting ready for the Annapurna. And uh, from now on, we have 500 meters uphill. We are not far from the top. In about 10 15 minutes, we should be there. It's really sweaty. Really, really sweaty. We left the World Peace Pagoda, she's there, and now we go to the Shiva statue up here. Okay, we made it to the Shiva statue. It was, uh, was tiring, a lot of stairs and everything. Anyway, we are here now. Get to the stupa and the big Shiva up the hill of Kara was awesome, although it was a little bit tiring due to the weather. Extremely hot. If you work like us, it's 7-8 kilometers with a vertical drop of 700 meters. It's time to come back and seriously think about the Annapurna circuit. In few days we will start our hike. Guys, I don't know what happened, but it's the second time that I'm fixing my shoes here in Nepal. See you up there at the Annapurna circuit.